Hey guys, here's my garden. Well, some of the plants. This is two sunflowers. And they're doing really good. And that's my bean, as you can see. He's like really starting to climb. So, he'll be crazy in a little while. And let's go over here. Here we got Beef Master Tomatoes. Look at this plant. Look at him. He's huge. Here we got Pumpkin, which is definitely vining out, as you can clearly see, see that vining out, see he's still growing his vine, here's a pepper, still a pepper, but it's a flower, he's doing really good, these are, I mean, it's, it's crazy, this one got chopped down to a stub, which, um, if you look, if I can find it, there we go. Stuff right there, it's what was chopped down and then just came right back. Here are my strawberries, beautiful. And here's the large red cherry tomato plant. Look at this cherry tomato, look at this thing. This one actually has a pretty good size one here. Look at that. See, that's real big and it fits right there to that. I'll take a look how big this guy is. It's just about as big as my hand. You have this one here. Beautiful, beautiful. So we're going to have a lot. Here are my other strawberries. Look how beautiful these guys are. Look at them. Here's um one that's starting to get ripe. See that? This plant with these. Okay. Oh my god, look at this fucking thing. Look at this guy. Jesus. Dear lord. This is, um, the other Beefmaster one. It's doing really good. It's got so many tomatoes and it got so huge. Look at him. He's a crazy one. Well, I know we'll get a lot of tomatoes this year. It's gonna be a good harvest. This plant's freaking huge. This is getting almost as tall as the tomato cage, as you can see. See him? He's got everything all around. He's got a tomato up there. <laughs> he's got tomatoes in every single part of this plant. He's got some even in the center. I almost killed myself. Yes, guys, I almost broke my neck. If you don't know this. Oh! Look at that. There's one there. They're so big. I love these guys. I've actually already harvested quite a few. And they're really good. And the homegrown strawberries are a lot better than the ones you buy at the store. So. See, this one's got a little tomato. And this one is doing really good because we got these inbound just in time. We got this in around May. Sometime in May we got these in the ground. Or maybe in March. I think we got these in... Maybe late March to early May, we got these in the ground. And they're doing really, really good. They're beautiful. They're full of life. And I'm proud. Now let's go take a look. Now let's take a look at this guy. Look at him. He's finding out. He's going to be the thickest of all. He's going to be going straight through. i got to make sure to train him to go that way. But i got to figure out something. And now, let's go to the other one. Here's the pumpkin, and there's that little flower, but it's already has a couple flowers. Now this guy, he's got some massive leaves, and he's definitely running out. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. It's bigger than my hands, my foot. Lordy. See that? It's growing, and look at all these things. It's just binding himself up. He's got vines growing on him. He's binding on everything. Whatever he can get his vine on to. <laughs> he's, oh my god, for that. Back 
glowy. That's pretty cool. And if we do get it starting the next school year, that's okay. Because I really don't give a crap. Mm. What's that? Oh. Let's go ahead and take a look at this little guy here. Oh. One's got a little guy here. On oh, that plane, you can smell it off the plane. You know, it scent these plants release when you move the leaves around or rub on them a little bit. And it's on my hand as well now, so. Excuse me. Oh. Look at that. See, they're in the center as well. One there. These guys are growing all over this plant, and I'm not even using it. Let's see, let's see these little fellas. Look at this. Three little guys. Look at these eyes. They're fat. We're gonna have a ton of cherry tomatoes, and we're gonna have a lot, lot of tomatoes. Oh, and look at this. I don't know if he's starting to ripen or not, but he's doing awesome. So yeah, that's pretty much it, um, that one, I like it, it's for this plant anyway. You can see up, um, how tall it is, if you look up at the tomato cage, you can see how tall it's getting, man, these guys are getting tall, he's getting real tall too, you can see that, see that, see how tall he's getting, um, let's go to the other beef master plant, after we go to here. I'm gonna look around on here for a minute too. Hmm. There's a flower there, flower there. Um, little flower. A few strawberries as well. That one's opening. There's a strawberry. Look at him. Hmm. Sometimes it can be hidden in the plant, and that can help. But in this case, not really. Oh wow. See, okay, here we go. Hidden back here. I didn't notice. He's got a couple of flowers there. He's got this little guy, you know. See, he's growing right there. Mm. He's getting there. Mm, he's got a little stub in there. Here's its tag Parks Whopper. Hybrid tomato. Mmm. That's them right there when they're fully grown. If I can get my finger. Look at that. I'm gonna whatever. In the back, I can't exactly see what it says, but I think it's something about like 16 ounces is what they get to do. They get up to 16 ounces. Oh. Me guys, I'm about to drop my camera, and we'll show you how big this guy's stem is. Look at him, crazy! Oh lord, flower bud there. Still got a a lot of that. Okay, now we're at this guy. Ooh, look at him. He's a little odd, but that's how we take tomatoes sometimes grow. Control how crazy they get. Oh, there he is in the middle. Oh, look at him. These guys up here are only shit burgers. Look at that. Oh, that's nice. That's what I like from my plants. Producing mass, quantity, mass quantities of fruits. 
And this guy's, oh my god, I got my eye, Jesus. <laughs> Thanks, tomato. You just slap me. Yeah, I know. He's really tall, look at him. You're all, mm. Fix that up a little. See, you gotta, when you have tomato cookies, you gotta make sure that the, it's like it's tall enough. You do that like I just did to keep him up on the tomato cage. Like him here. See, he's not quite tall enough, but yes, look at him. Look at that branch. Oh my god, he's got so tall, man. <coughs> oh, now let's go check the sunflowers. <coughs> See that you look? It's actually two. Two plants are like. Look at that, he's beautiful. Growing. His bean. Look at that bean. Bean. I had started in the door because I have a seed starter kit that I like to use sometimes. Um, seed starter kit helps a lot when you want to grow stuff like tomatoes. But I started the uh, large red cherry tomato, that one from a seed. This guy here was from a seed. This giant beast that came from one little teeny tiny. Well, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, thanks for watching. Please, um, rate, subscribe, and leave a comment. And also, tell me about your garden. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.